Would you like to make some money with your Android app? But do you think it's complicated to integrate with credit card and business instance, right? Hi, I'm Neto Marin and I'm here to help you understand how to use Android and app billing in your app to make it easier for you to earn some money. There are several ways to monetize your app. You could show advertisements with AdMob, offer upgrades from a freemium version or a paid premium features, sell virtual goods, also, you could use subscription model with your app or service. And for some of these methods, you can use in-app billing to collect your money. In-app billing is a service hosted on Google Play that lets you charge for digital content and upgrades in your app. When you integrate in-app billing with your app, you can use the API to request product details from Google Play, issue orders for in-app products, and quickly retrieve ownership information based on users' purchase history. For users, Google Play provides a checkout interface that makes user interactions with the in-app billing service intuitive and seamless. The in-app billing API does impose some rules and best practices. You can use an app billing only to sell digital products. For example, virtual game products, including coins, extra lives, special items, or additional levels. App features or content, such as ad-free version, or features that are not available in the free version. Subscription services such as streaming music, video, or other media services. But there are other products that are not allowed by NAP billing, like retail merchandise such as grocers, clothing, housewares, and electronics. Service fees, including tax and transportation services, cleaning, food delivery, and others. One time membership fees or recurring dues, including gym memberships, loyalty programs, or other fiscal products. One-time payments, including peer-to-peer -peer payments, online auctions, and donations. Or electronic bill payment, including credit card bills, utilities, and cable or telecommunication services. For more details about this policy, check out our support page. The first step of implementing app billing is to define your products using the Google Play Developer Console, including product type, SQ, price, and so on. The version 3 API supports many in-app products and subscriptions. Let's see more details about each type. Many in-app products are items that are tracked and managed by Google Play. It means that Google Play stores the purchase information for each item. This information is persisted on Google Play services, even if the user uninstalled the application or if they change the device. And with the version 3 API, you can consume managed items and they could be purchased multiple times. This is useful if you're implementing a game, for example, where the user can buy currency, fuel, or magic potions, and attention, you are responsible for provisioning these in-app products to the users. For in-app products that can only be purchased once, it's not necessary to implement consumption, because after purchasing, these items will be permanently associated to the user's Google account, like a premium upgrade or a level pack. And another type of product offered for in-app billing is subscription. Subscriptions allow you to sell content, service, or features on a recurring schedule with automated billing. When users purchase a subscription in your app, Google Play handles all checkout details, so your app never has to process any financial transaction. Subscriptions can be offered with a recurring billing at your choice of intervals, weekly, monthly, three-month, six-month, annually, and seasonal. And you can even set up a free trial period that lets users try your subscription content before buying it. Google Play supports free trials for all subscription types, including seasonal subscriptions. And promotions are a great way to attract new users or engage with users that have been away for a while. With version 3, you can use an app billing to create and manage promo codes for your products. As you can see, in-app billing offers many benefits for you and your users. In the next video, we'll go hands-on and I'll show you how to define the products on Google Play Developer Console, implement the purchase flow, and much more. If you want to start exploring on your own, check out the documentation and our guide about in-app billing API. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!